What's up guys, it's Zombie and welcome back into awesome micro video and today guys we are going to be uh, going into a very very special SCP's containment room. Guys before this video begins make sure you guys do me a favor and slap that like button down below you guys got three seconds leave a like three two one and leave a comment down below guys what is the scariest SCP that you guys have ever known because today guys we're gonna be taking a look at one of my favorites and one of the the creepiest and you guys are gonna see exactly why I say they're one of the creepiest so what we're gonna do guys is we're going to go inside of this SCP's little um containment zone um, and as you guys can see I don't have a key card on me so I kind of just have to break through the walls but that is SCP-106. So, yes, that's right, guys. We're going to be going over SCP-106 in this video. Uh, like I said, he's he's one of the uh, of the scariest SCPs ever. So, I I'm not really looking forward to this. I'll be honest with you folks. Uh, not really looking forward to this. But, you know what? We're going to do what we got to do, guys. We're going to go inside of this, um, of this containment room. Uh, I got to break down walls, I think. Okay, I, these are not breaking. Do I have to break down this door? Um, okay, there we go. You broke down the door. All right, that's cool enough. We can just break down the door, apparently. Don't know whether that's uh, that's funny or terrifying. But, um, but yes, guys. So, if you guys notice, it's caged up in a very, very uh, specific type of block. It's like a magmatized block. Now, what this does is it contains the SCP inside of this little room because this SCP can actually walk through uh, any block really so or any matter I should say so we're gonna let this guy uh, you know hit us because not only does he do that but he actually will send us into like an alternate dimension so we're gonna let him do that guys and we're gonna go explore his uh, his little uh, his little dimension that goes on for like forever so yes, guys, as you can see, this is it right here. It's actually pretty well lit. I actually brought um, this night vision goggle just in case, but um, it, it seems like I'm not going to need to use it because uh, I could already see pretty good. Although, it does add a little bit more atmosphere to the place. So uh, I definitely don't need to worry about that, but I, I don't think I need to wear it right now. But you may have noticed, and what the heck? That was, that was weird. You may have noticed already that I, uh, I only have, I actually have nine seconds of slowness all the time for some reason. I don't know why that is the case, but it's the case. And I actually don't think you're able to eat in here, which is kind of weird. But, uh, we're gonna just keep exploring. We're gonna see if we can find, like, anything weird down here. Because, dude, this is just crazy. This place goes on for literally ever it goes on in like a whole bunch of different directions i'm gonna put back on these things because it makes it look uh, a lot more a lot more atmospheric you know what i mean it looks a lot more creepy so um let's just keep walking around guys um maybe we can find one of these little middle areas that actually have uh, a staircase in them that goes up oh what's this there's no way to go that way the heck okay well there's another one this way does this way actually lead me upstairs ah it does Okay, so this one led me upstairs. Maybe I gotta keep finding more of them so that it actually... Oh my... Okay, maybe it was a good idea to bring this, actually. Because, guys, I can barely see anything in here. Whoa. This is what night vision on? It's so dark in this room. Why is it so dark? Oh, there's actually a hole down here. They go back down. Well, that's not what we want to do. We don't want to go down... We want to go upwards, so if we could find even more staircases that go upwards, that would be great, because that's exactly what we're trying to do right now. We're trying to go upwards, so let's just uh, keep exploring. I don't need to wear this anymore. I'm going to keep the flashlight on, though. Um, okay, maybe not. It feels so weird saying not green. There's, like, nothing in here, though. Like, that's the weird thing. It's like I'm in here by myself. But, like, it's, uh, there's no way that could be the case. Whoa. What the heck? Wait, what? Where am I? What? Does this go on for, like, ever? Hold up. What? This thing is so big. Okay, let's just keep walking on this and see how far it goes. Because, dude, 
This is insane right now. We're literally on like top of like a dimension here. Like I don't understand what's going on with this, bro. Okay, well I remember in one of my mod videos, there was some pretty freaky formations that I saw uh, on on the very top of this. So I want to keep exploring and see if I can find anything weird. And by the way, guys, do let me know if you guys see anything weird that I don't see. What is that pit? Does that go like all the way down? Ah, that goes like all the way down. I think this is like infinite. Like honestly, I think this might actually be like infinite. Could be wrong, but oh my gosh. Dude, no night vision looks terrible. You can barely see anything. Okay, well, we're going to keep walking with the, with the night vision on, because that's, like, the only thing uh, I can see. So, whoa, whoa, we almost fell down that pit. Is there anything even in here? Like, is there actually any substance to this dimension that we're in? The It's called... The dimension that we're in is called uh, B106, which would be... It would stand for SCP-106, I would assume. So, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Everything looks like it's just repeating itself over and over again. I don't know what we're really supposed to do with that information. Maybe we gotta, like, keep going. We'll find, like, a super secret formation. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna go down here, because look at this. It's so dark. Oh, my goodness. Bro, I'm using a flashlight and and night vision that's how dark it is in that room it seems like when there's no light it gets like extra dark compared to normal and we don't want to go down at least i don't think we want to go down i don't know what's at the very bottom i could have checked that too but i don't think that was really important but we'll, we'll go back up what happens if we go this way this time around we went we went that way what if we go the other direction and we go like this way instead because i'm very curious uh, what is being hidden from me in this dimension? I'm also gonna take these annoying night vision goggles off because why not? It's dark. It's very, very dark. I will say that. But, uh, I don't know really what else to say about this dimension. It looks relatively, uh, the same. Like, everything looks like it's repeating itself and that there's really, like, no life in here. It's like I'm the only one. It's like a, it's like a form of death. It's, it's like I died, and this is like my everlasting torment for being zombie SMT. I think that's it. I, I don't know. But I don't really know how to describe this place. And wait, what? I'm eating now. Wait, how am I eating now? I wasn't able to eat before. Was it because everything was like loading in? Because I can eat normally now. I have no issues with eating now. That's so odd. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, uh, how about we do a quick thing? Uh, just like a quick experiment here. Uh, let's go into creative mode, right? I want to see what happens when we go into creative mode. Like, what is... Is there anything hidden for me on this, like, this weird and wacky insane world? So, let's go in creative mode and, like, fly on top and get, like, a good aerial vision. Everything... It looks like that if we kept on going, it would just be the same thing over and over and over again. Cause it looks like this just goes on forever like look at this that's crazy now what if i summon scp 106 while we're in this dimension and like what, what would happen then let's go let's go and find out okay Let, let's test it out right now let's put him down and see what happens okay so he, he doesn't move i'm so confused Okay, well, we're gonna let him keep hitting me. Come on. Come on, hit me. What What is going on right now? What? Wh Where am I? Uh... I'm, I was on, like, the edge. I, I, I honestly do not know what just happened. What the heck? So, SCP-106 just teleports me back to the top? And I can't eat again. That's so strange. That's literally so strange. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to end up the video here, guys. Because I think that's all I'm going to find out about this uh, this weird dimension. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, if you guys did, make sure you do me a favor and slap that like button down below. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. 
and enables notifications so that you never miss a video from me ever again. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at RealZombieSMT. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. And as always, peace out. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.